everybody welcome back to my channel it's len hi it's been a long time since i've sat down and filmed but i'm excited for this video <laughs> she's Yay. a bit more nervous i think than excited <laughs> yeah <laughs> so before we start with the video i just want to say that the at the end i'm gonna be announcing something and i'm really excited about it so i hope you stick with me till the very end it's gonna be a short announcement i'm gonna make a whole separate video about it because it's a long topic and i have a feeling this video is gonna be really long already but i can't wait to tell you guys okay let's get started so you may have seen well you probably have seen from the title what we're gonna be doing so what is left to do now is to present to you my guest for today, Hi. Zoe! Nice to meet you guys! <laughs> well, actually, if you've been with me since the very beginning, you guys already know Zoe. Zoe and I are cousins, and uh, she's also a chef. And yeah. this is why this video is going to be interesting. She's always interested in trying new things, yeah. new flavors, <laughs> um, but you're... Are you more nervous or more excited about what we're doing here today? I think both. Both. Because I'm really scared about one thing to try and I know it's theirs so I'm kind of nervous for that one but I'm like super interesting to taste the different flavor mm, because yeah. Japanese food is like miles away from the food in Europe so Yeah and that actually is a good segue because I wanted to talk to you about Belgian food. Belgian food! <laughs> Fatty food! Yeah, the stereotype here, well, what would you say? It's more... It's like rich food, right? Rich food, like, yeah. French fries, a lot of beer, like... Chocolate, chocolate, waffles, mussels... Yeah, so... That's a big stereotype. It's not like um, a fancy cuisine. Like, French cuisine <laughs> is like super... Refined. Yeah. And Belgium is more like, it's good but it's not like pretty. Yeah, it's more like maybe comfort food, like celebration food maybe? Yeah. That's what you would say. And what do you know about Japanese cuisine? Like what? Mm, I know they are like super talented with like everything. Everything. <laughs> you come teach something to someone cook Japanese food because okay. it's like a huge process to learn it and can do in a proper way mm. so they know what they do you have much experience no just the sushi food. and it's the sushi in Europe so yeah, it's, not it's not the not, real one not so. the same and of course I'm not an expert either so you guys if you're watching from Japan let us know in the yeah. comments what, how you would describe Japanese food um, to European people because I'm interested to know for me Japanese food is like more subtle flavors mm. Mainly because I know some like for sweets and stuff. It's sometimes very over the top like from what I've tried Take your sugar, <laughs> but for like main dishes. It's more like subtle compared to what we have here more information about you what I want to know well what my viewers would like to know probably and what I would like you <laughs> to Say is introduce what you how you would define what you cook at work? I will say my food is plant-based plant like based. a lot of veggies mm -hmm. um, For the moment I will I'm really interested to do vegan food. Yeah, because it's like a new thing to me and it's where I think all the world are go to yeah so it's super interesting for me, so yeah, ethic kitchen. Ethic, yeah. Yeah, but flavory, not like just eat your raw tofu and <laughs> that kind of stuff. Like work on the vegetable, the different type of tofu or things you can replace the meat or yeah, the yeah. fish. I'm also eating meat and fish sometimes, but I take a big care of where the meat comes from. Yeah, yeah how they grow mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff and I really respect the, the project. I think I am correct in saying that you have a broad palette, you've tried a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and so he's mentioning about eating like good food, respectful food, ethical food and I'm kind of feeling that what we have right here in front of us is maybe like the opposite of that because this is not exactly representative of Japanese cuisine, but this is Brussels and I went to like the, the Japanese yeah. <laughs> store 
that we have and it was kind of empty today maybe it yeah. was just because I don't know they were it's the end of the week it's the end of the week I don't know but it was kind of the shelves were a little empty so we're focusing on snack food today yeah. basically and a lot of it was in the freezer so I think this is gonna be more fun than in uh, like yeah but also interesting I yeah. mean and we all like to eat like some fun trash food yeah, yeah. like french fries I guess. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so obviously I'm not saying this is like Japanese food representation right here in front of us. No, this is like snacks that we found at the store, things that I thought were interesting for Zoe to try, yeah. things that I haven't <laughs> tried myself or maybe haven't had in a long time. So this is just for fun. Don't like, no pressure, okay? <laughs> Let's eat. Okay, so you can kind of see what you have here, but let me show you anyway. And that way I can explain also to Zoe why I picked certain products. Starting with the drink. So here we have Japanese green tea. Do you know why I chose? No. The real iced tea. Uh, okay. To what we have here, which yeah. is sugar, 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 sugar. <laughs> sugar. Uh, I spoke about this with my Japanese teacher the other day, and she was like, "I cannot drink you guys like your green tea. It's just like full of sugar. It's we yeah. can't taste." the tea so well, I'm kind of exciting to take, so, try that one yeah, but like without sugar it's cool. has no sugar it can be a little bitter from what I remember but after a week in Japan I love this I could drink it every day so green tea this I don't think I've ever tried like the original it's ramune it's basically a Japanese the soda but so cute, <laughs> I know I mean <laughs> I think it just tastes like soda, very sweet, but I chose it because it's famous. Again, you guys okay. tell me, but I think Ramune is like a big name in Japan and I we'll see. I think it just tastes of Sprite, but I'm not sure. But also I want to show Zoe like the special Ramune bottle, which is, well, I'll show you. you you'll be able to open it. Oh yeah. Next we have oh. the infamous Kalpis. Kalpis, I think I had it once, not in Japan, a very long time ago, and I was like, what the hell <laughs> is this? I'm kind of scared of that. And time. I'm not really sure how to explain what it is, but what we read at the store, it's like water with a bit of milky, milk. And different type of thing, and I was like, are you sure you would have really tried that? <laughs> it is famous in Japan, and I've only had it once, so this is as much for me as for Zoe. Because okay. We'll also, see. the name Calpis. I mean, that's mm, not very appetizing in my uh, opinion. Okay. We also have Kirin. Of course. Beer. Belgium beer. I had to choose this. I had. I, I was hesitant between Kirin and the Asahi, um, but I like the art on the Kirin. Yeah. <laughs> it was more funny. So I know the taste of Japanese beer really well by now. I never try it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Every country I go, actually, I try the yeah. local beer, mm -hmm. and I only drink local beer because oh. it's more funny, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink has a local, so I'm kind of interested to try yeah. that. It's one. not Japanese draft beer. I think Japanese draft beer, like Namadiru, is completely different, but. This is it's a Japanese beer. It's probably the equivalent of a Jupiler or something here. Oh yeah. Not flavor wise, but like the brand. Yeah. Like, you know. Um, shall we talk about this? Yeah. This is what you're afraid of. Yeah, not at all. So you guys have probably seen my video where I where I try natto for the first time. Yeah. And I was like, it doesn't smell, it yeah. doesn't taste bad. I Did think I? She was did I? Yeah. <laughs> did, did I choose the wrong kind of natto, or am I? Just I love it. Maybe I just love it. So, even though I still can't read m most of these kanji, and even if I could read them, I don't know what they mean yet. Sorry, guys. But, but the lady looks happy. So. The lady looks happy. That's Zoe's opinion. <laughs> like, and also, I've never tried this brand, so maybe it will be different. Yay! It doesn't say hikiwari, which was the one I chose last time, which was the natto cut in pieces. So. 
Really? We'll see yeah. about that. I think it's gonna be a good experience because... Yeah, I'm exciting, but a little bit scared. So we also picked out a instant ramen. Yay! <laughs> no clue what's in there. Yeah, I just picked from soba. the packaging. Oh, it's soba already and... I can't read that. Oh, tempura. Well, yeah, tempura. Okay, so some tempura soba. We have some umeboshi candy. I don't know, I just picked it out. There weren't that many things to choose from, honestly, so I just picked up some random things. Did it say? Yeah. What did it say? I already tried umeboshi and I don't really like it, so yeah. I hope in the candy it would be more good. Maybe, maybe it's just like something sour. Yeah, it was like super vinegary. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. And also, these were frozen. <laughs> So I had to put them in the oven just like one minute so it's not like completely frozen. I got this dorayaki which is <laughs> strawberry flavor, strawberry and cream. I wanted the Anko one but they ah, didn't have any. Ah, it's in the middle! Yeah. I thought it was like inside. Ah no, it's two little crepes. It's like, yeah. Two little pancakes. Already make you can I've got eat. some daifuku. I think this one is Anko. But I put it in the oven a little bit like low heat and it kind of like melted duh obviously but i didn't want it to be frozen okay and i got some uh, some dango it looks so yummy that one no the soy sauce it smells good okay so but after we need to taste yeah what are, are we starting with a drink maybe yeah we can which one do you want to try first mm, maybe the tea because it's okay. like a softer flavor i've got my glass <laughs> this yeah, for try first. Oh, it's very common. What does it smell like? Tea. <laughs> Cold tea, tea, like. Yeah. When you forgot your tea on the table oh, and you're like, oh, I don't want to throw it away. I would okay. drink it. Well, can't bite. <laughs> oh. It's bitter, right? Yeah. It's not disgusting, it's interesting. Yeah, and after a while you get used to the bitterness. I just drank mine like directly. But it's not that bitter. I like it a lot. I yeah, it's really good. Because I don't really like like too much sugary drinks mm -hmm. because you're just like eating sugar. Yeah. Like eh, I can't. And yeah, it's super refreshing. Yeah, can you imagine like uh, a Japanese person coming here and being like, oh, I'm gonna take the lift and I'm No, <laughs> poor little guy. Le pauvre, il sait pas ce qu'il fait, il va se prendre un truc genre. Anyway, we need to, well, you need to grade this out of 10. Um, 10, I would say maybe I will change the grade after oh, I yeah, try okay. everything. But at the beginning, it's an eight, I think. Okay. It's a definitely a thing like I can buy and drink. If you don't want to drink like just water and have like something kind of different in taste, it's a really good alternative. Yeah. I, I really like it. Okay. I will really take one. Okay. <laughs> you can. Um, do you want to try something you think you like, or you want to try something like get the bad stuff out of the way? Mm, we can mix everything. You can mix. You can choose. Well, maybe I'm gonna put like the hot water into the instant so that way it's. Yes, sorry. Ooh! Interesting. Ooh! So, you have a pack of, I guess, the flavoring, and you have this like weird cracker. It's a tempura. It's a tempura. Okay. I've never had anything like that either. I usually don't try instant food, it's not really my thing. But there were so many. Oh, it's okay. It's three minutes. There were so many instant foods, like little pots like these in the shop, and Zoe was like, "I want to try everything." <laughs> yeah, the packaging are so cute. That's true. And I was starving, so of course I was like, "I ate all." Oh. Water, water, water. Yosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I guess you have to go until the line. Yeah, totally. And I think after you need to report that on the top. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken it off. That's okay. Mm, yippee. Um, shall we try some dango maybe? Yay! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're super sticky. But here you go. Maybe I should have taken... What do you think of the texture? It's weird, right? It's like kind of um, gelé. Mm-hmm. It's jelly. 
jelly. I'm gonna try it too. And the, I don't know, bowl? It's, I think it's the same thing as mochi, like it's rice flour. But I the think. sauce tastes super good. Okay. This looks like lake. Oh, I don't know, a glaze. Yeah. Right, a glaze. So, Japanese people say itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 And it's not frozen. <laughs> mm. Mm. Actually, this is really good. Mm -hmm. mm. The camera cut off, so I don't know if it recorded, but you gave that a nine, right? A nine, yeah. It's super delicious. It's super sticky. But with one, you have more than enough. Yeah, you and also, eat you more. want to drink something? What's yeah. Tea? Tea, tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving it to you. Nine. <laughs> Not anymore. So, shall we try the calpis? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna try a drink? Okay. Ooh. Oh. oh no, actually, you need to try the instant. Uh, what was it? Soba. Mmm, it smells really good. Yeah. Yeah. It smells so good. Uh, not really. <laughs> you go first, or I go first. You go first. You can take whichever one. <laughs> so, I actually don't know the difference between ramen, udon, and soba, but I know it's like different flowers, I think, for the, mm. the noodles. It's not so bad for yeah. instant food. Mm. It tastes like. Um, oh, that little, that little pancake on the top is just because it's like mush now. It looks really bad. There's a hair there. Ah, I got it. Mm. I'll try some. Mm? It doesn't look appetizing. Well, to me at least. I don't think I can, I'm gonna be able it's to show you. It's instant food. I mean, I know. what did you expect? I know, but that <laughs> doesn't look appetizing just because of that thing that just became. Ugh, it kind of looks like. I think you need to mix it. It looks like vomit to me. No, it's not. Do I? But you know, no. It's big. <laughs> Big go, mouthful. Go for it. I already take one because I like it. I didn't have any. Like any I'm here. <laughs> okay. oh. Thank you. Oh, it looks so. Look at this. I don't think you can it's see not it. But... Looking bad. It's good. You know when you have a sandwich, but you have a sauce inside that's very watery, and then the bread goes all like mushy and weird. That's what it looks like to me. Mm, okay, yeah. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna shut up in this. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm. It's okay, I mean, for instant food. I'd have it once, but never buy it a second time, I think. I mean, if I had to grade it, I'd give it a five. Yeah, How me too. You too? Yeah, it's okay, I mean. And also, the mushy thing, I, I can't even eat it. I just, the texture. I think we. Wasn't supposed to put with I the water know. or keeping the. No, because when you eat it, the flavor is okay. It's just like. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> maybe we did it wrong. Oh, guys, did we do it wrong? Maybe we should have taken like the, the cracker no. thing outside. <laughs> Look now. <laughs> this is worse. Okay. What do you want to try now? You can choose. It's your turn. It's my turn. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned it earlier. So, do I have to shake it? <laughs> I don't know. How are you? Why is partly? Because maybe because there's like um like kefir. Ah yeah. Ah. Oh. Maybe. Ah oh, yes. Oh, I don't know. Like fermentation. Are you strong enough to open it? <laughs> I was afraid of it going like oh. It smells okay. It smells kind of like fake. Yeah, the smell is okay. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember it being really weird. It's like smell like kind of fermented drinks. Kombucha. It smells sweet. 
Yeah, and at the end you have the milky smell. Like yogurt. You smell a lot more than me. I just smell like soda. Yeah, but you have the milky thing. I'm tired. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, it's super good. <laughs> yeah. What did I know? I was like, it? what's happening in my mouth? It's Wait. like so different than the can. I can't describe what I'm drinking. Mm. It tastes like citrus, lemon. Like a little bit sour. It tastes like candy. But like... Le Raspberry, lemony one. Really? You're getting a lot of more. I don't know. It's like she's an expert. <laughs> I'm like, for me, it's like you have I need like. To try it again. Sour thing. Yeah, there is citrus something. Like or... Citrus or. Do you want some more? Yeah, I want it. <laughs> like agrimulat. Yeah, I get I get the citrusy flavor. Okay. But I'm also getting something like after it's not different. Sparkling. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It looks like a flat soda. Mm, I get that. Oh, I got the yogurt. You got I'm getting milk. yogurt. This is so weird. I think we can say it's like, it like a yogurt. fruity yogurt, yeah. but super light in the taste yeah. of milk. That's true. And I still find it too sweet, personally. Yeah, it's sweet. But it's for me too sweet. It's less sweet than a soda. I can be like super delicious with a lot of ice. I kind of like it. How much? Because <sighs> we have this already at eight. Yeah. Even if you change it afterwards. I don't know. Seven point five. Seven point five. Because it was like super surprising, but not as good as this. Then I will not buy it. Oh, okay. You wouldn't buy Maybe it. Maybe. I'm in Japan or somewhere like that and like, yeah, hey, you need to try this, I take one oh, too, yeah. it's cool, but never I would say, oh, I really want a good carpet <laughs> now, you know? I think we need to go with the natto, yeah. because after we've got the sweet thing, we we'll forgot I the taste. I totally agree. <laughs> ah, <Mommy>. ah. <laughs> I'm so scared. I can smell it actually from here. It's close. Of course you can smell it. I can. It looks like... I can smell it. Ah, you can. I think I can't with the last. <laughs> no, people say that if you have this in your fridge, you can smell it. Like your fridge smells of natto. But it just smells of like fermented something. It's okay for me. <laughs> I'm hoping they have the packs of soy sauce inside. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, yes. Like they have uh, mustard though. Oh, what? I need to so. It smells good. <laughs> no, okay, the smell is more than okay. It how? smells so good. How are people being like, oh, no, look, mustard. Mustard? Ooh. Mustard. Mustard. It's the same as my natto video, basically. The but that is one like, is like full piece. Yes, yeah, it's um, not hikiwari. Uh. So the way you do it is that you take the plastic off. Okay. Like this. Ah oh, no! <laughs> it's loose like spider thing. Where am I gonna put this? Where's the trash? Ah, uh, don't put that with the good food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells so strong now. Okay, it just smells of like fermented stuff. Yeah. It's like no. I think you have that in your fridge. You open it in the morning. It's not the kind of smell I want. I know, but to me, that or a really like old cheese, it's smelly, but it's not like bleh smelly. It's. Do you want to try this? Okay. Like, get another bad one out. A bad one out of here. <laughs> so, this was in the candy aisle. So, I don't know what to expect. Is it gonna be a gummy? Is it gonna be hard? I think it would be a hard one though. Or it's gummy. It's hard gummy. <laughs> it's hard gummy. Oh, it smells so bad, yo. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Give me your hand. It looks like, you know, in the Christmas we can have like some kind of chestnut. Oh. The sugary one, it is like super weird. 
It just says that it's an umeboshi. Yeah, it smells it bad. It smells like vinegar. Vinegar, yeah. Okay, let's just go for it. <laughs> oh, you can't write it. Mm, it's okay. <laughs> Mmm, oh, oh, it's super um, sour. But it's not as sour as the real umeboshi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> zero out of ten? <laughs> not zero. Not like the kind of candy I want to eat. I don't mind it at all, actually. Yeah. I'd probably eat that on my own <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> like, mm, okay, you have okay. strange taste. Let's have fun with this one. So what is that? What is that? What is that? I'm just gonna open this part and then you can open the front part. <laughs> wow. This looks so Yeah. I'm good. Oh. Is it opening on its own? No, it's not. Okay. <gasps> wow! <laughs> wow! Why? What is that actually? Um I'm trying to fit. I haven't heard. I've done one in my life, I think, and I'm not sure. I think you do this, or there you go. Oh, and so I just you put it, and then you. Yeah, but why there is? I think it's either to make it fun for kids. Okay. You. I want everybody to get. Okay, not on the table, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some <laughs> kitchen roll. Oh no! <laughs> it was kind of hard to. <clears throat> I think that kids actually just go like that, like ah, okay. one go. I think. <laughs> I was scared about the table. That's what my teacher said anyway when she was talking about lemonade. <laughs> okay. Take a glass. Oh, yeah. So sparkly. Yeah, so carbonated. <laughs> The other day I went in like in, in, a, <laughs> in a Chinese like food supply store and they had like so many flavors. But yeah? I think the original only has like one flavor. Oh my god, this umeboshi is giving me the hiccups. Mmm, <laughs> I like it. There's like no flavor. No, you have a bit, but it's not too sugary. It tastes like sparkling water, but with a bit of sugar. Yeah, and lemon. I really like the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> the bottle, the little whale in it. It's like, take me. <laughs> we finish. Hmm? Now we can finish. Yay! <laughs> oh, look out! <laughs> you love it? Yeah, it's really good. Cause my teacher said like, oh, lemon is so sweet, but compared to Sprite, this is like, this is. Fine. But if you compare to the iced yeah. green tea, mm -hmm. it's super sweet. <laughs> I guess. I think yeah. we, if we take like another glass of iced tea now, we will be like, oh, it's so big. <laughs> I think this is ready yet. Yeah, I think you can prepare. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So what you have to do? <laughs> Your face. You should have kept some lemonade for <laughs> afterwards. Looks like um, a bug capturing the spider thing. I don't know what you're saying. Maybe. Yeah, like the. the ah! So you mix it once and then you put the sauce in. For me, the smell is okay, it's more deep. At my parents. Like. <laughs> Look. Don't eat it like that. <laughs> I okay. just want to show. And then we mix it again. Why is so like. I think it's just like the bacteria or something. And. It's, it's good for your gut. Oh, like it looks good. so bad with the sauce. Is it because there's water from the frozen thing? No. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting like a mousse. <laughs> no, it looks like something. Uh, Okay, you want to go first or do you want me to show you how you're supposed to eat it? Show me, because I think I will do like that. Sometimes. Okay, so that movement is like to get rid of the... Yeah, I get it. 
Oh my god, I hope it's gonna taste okay. And then, you're supposed to eat it with rice. Okay. So. And yes, I got comments on my natto video saying that my chopsticks were too long. I know, it's like the only ones I have though. Okay, I'm gonna chop in a little more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So it wasn't so bad at the end, but this, the texture is like, look like a little raw egg. It's kind of weird at the first time. And the taste is not so bad, so it's okay. Um, so on 10, I think I will give like a 7.5 on 10 because it wasn't so bad. It was like surprising kind of. So it was okay, but I will not eat that like every day but with a rice i think it will be more than okay so so we have eight yeah i think that was 7.5 yeah i have a drink of that actually and the ramonet the ramonet i will say eight two because you really like that yeah it's the same than the tea mm -hmm. i will totally buy it yeah, yeah. especially for the bottle maybe. yeah like Ah, good marketing guys <laughs> now we have two sweet ones and the beer so the, I think the bad things are done now well, the bad things they're more like Maybe. scary things imagine just it stays so bad <laughs> like well, go ahead <laughs> you thought it was good no no I wanted to I just eat, grab it just eat it like <laughs> bite into it I thought I wanted the traditional one with the uh, the red bean paste <laughs> it might still be frozen. No. No. <laughs> but this one is strawberries and cream and probably a bit like. Mm. He made a weird face though. <laughs> mm. like... It's good. Yeah. But <clears throat> I don't like the strawberry in that no? one. Let me try it. It's because I'm really difficult with the cream strawberry thing. But it tastes super good. Mm, it's okay. I love the texture yeah. of the crepe. Yeah, well, it, the best way to have it, obviously, is in Japan. At yeah. a real, like, fresh dolayaki. Of course. With the real red bean paste. Yeah. But I would take another piece of that one. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Let's try to dice the food that I completely destroy. No. I might have to get a knife, though. Because, <laughs> look at it, it's like... You got it. Oh, there we go. See, I like it. This it got destroyed in the um, in the oven. So you wanna like bite it? Okay. It's stuck on my thumb. There you go. But you've had mochi before. Yeah, I like really the, love um, it. The frozen ones that are really weird texture. Mm. But have you ever had like red bean paste before? Mm. Okay, it's different. Mmm, so yummy. Yeah? Mm. Did you have some of the red green uh, red, red mm. inside? Mmm. Mmm. I really like it, it's even though good. the texture is a bit weird. No, it's really good. Yeah? Yeah, I really love it. Mm. At the beginning, it was, why do you want to put bean in dessert, guys? But I like the taste. So delicious. The first time, I was like, I'm not sure I like it. No, it's, it's really it's not, good. It's not sweet at all. But it's okay because the outside is like over sweet. You think so? I think you can taste like the rice of the Yeah, mochi. but it's sweet. Over there. I don't think it's that sweet actually. Oh, yummy. And I love the texture of the... Yes, I was... I obsessed. don't know why, but it's so cool. You're like... It's the same as this though. Yeah, it's exploding in my mouth. Yeah, every time I saw like a small stand of Daifuku in Japan, I was like, damn it, I've already had like five, but I want another one. <laughs> That's a ten? That's a ten. What about the dorayaki? That one, mm, I think it was like fresh and with the bean inside, it would be a ten too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The beer. I think the beer is the perfect mm. one to end mm, yeah. this thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> we had to walk back from the store, so we had we chose to. Yeah. You're thirsty, eh? But do it well. Sorry, I don't want too much food. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last one. Yeah, when we finish, don't worry. Okay. So. You smell like beer. Anyway, we already did that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It tastes more watery, I find. It's super real. Real? What? Real. Oh, weird. <laughs> ah. Sorry, Japanese people, but I don't really like it. She's a purist, also, though. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a really cheap beer in the gym. Yeah. The taste is so different. It's very different. Yeah, it's not. Same at all. Yeah, and I try to explain this to like Belgian people, like how Japanese beer is very different, and they're like, yeah, but beers from other countries are different. No, this is really different. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how I would describe it. But just that it's different. You have diff uh, different taste. Like, yeah. I don't know to how to explain. Well, I mean, it still tastes like beer. I mean, it tastes if beer. If you were like, blindfolded, you'd be like, yeah, this is beer. But <laughs> yeah, but you'd like, mm, it's different. Yeah, like. Where did you get this beer? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's no, it's just... not bad. It's just completely different from what we're used to. Yeah. We're like Belgians. We're supposed to like be like beer. <laughs> yeah. Beer. Anyway, um, that was a ten. That was a ten. That was a ten. If you said fresh. Yeah, but for that this one, one, the dorayaki. That's what I'm pointing to. I don't like it because. It's strawberry. Oh, you don't like it. Inside, okay. it's like it's this weird. Not the real strawberry. Yeah. You know, ca candy strawberry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fake flavor. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, five, four. Ooh, that's not a good. And the beer? <sighs> a six. <laughs> this is okay. Actually. It's okay. I mean, but it's, you'd never I will buy it if I want. If I go to Japan, yeah. I will not be sad to drink Japanese beer, yeah. but in my country, no way. <laughs> <laughs> totally Sorry guys! Sad. Okay, so this video has been super long already, so we're gonna cut it short now. <laughs> Let me know what you thought, because these were like very select products. This is what I found, well, what we found at the store today, but I'm sure like... If we go to like a 7-Eleven in yeah! Japan, that would be amazing. I'm trying to get Zoe to come with me to Japan one day, but one day. Yeah. <laughs> and also in the description box, check out our social media, especially Zoe. She's just started a Yay! new vlog with one of her cousins. Where... Yeah, another one. <laughs> another Big one. family. <laughs> where she talks about, well, I'm going to let you present it. What do you uh, about? It's like we talk about a lot of things for having a more green style living. Yeah. Like, how you can eat better, um, travel in a better way, dress up and that kind of thing. It's like just little tips and for regular people because it's not cost a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, like cost effective lifestyle. Yeah, so it's like advice from our lives. So mm -hmm. if you want to go check, it's in French, but Google Translate. Google there. Translate and there are nice photos and Yay. it's a good layout. I don't know, it's really interesting. You guys just started. But yeah, come to go see Go give it. her and her cousin some love. Anyway, stay tuned for the announcement. I know this video was super long already, but I just, I need to tell you guys this because it's super exciting. Well, Yay. I'm super excited. I'm and... super exciting too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for watching. And um, I guess I'm going to say bye with Zoe now. And I'll see you in the next clip for the announcement. Bye, Thanks guys. Bye. Hey, guys. So we left now, and uh, I'm a little bit on a sugar high from everything I just ate. So I'm going to cut to the chase, and this is my announcement, which I'm so excited to tell you guys um, that I'm... Drum roll, please. I'm going back to Japan early uh, next year, like 2019. Early 2019, I'm going back to Japan. It is a completely unplanned trip. It was completely impulsive. I just, I don't know what happened. I saw like an announcement for cheap flight tickets and I was like, I, I want it. I want to go to Japan. I can't wait any longer. I'm, I'm going back. So I'll be going back for two weeks. 
like I said, early 2019. But since this is an unplanned trip, there's a good chance that I'm going to be staying in Tokyo for two weeks. So basically, saw the tickets, bought the tickets with the little bit of money that I had set aside and now I'm figuring out how I'm going to finance the rest of my trip. So I'm going to be making a whole separate video about my upcoming trip. It's not going to be Japaniku 2.0, it's more likely going to be Japaniku 1.5 because I mean it's, it's going to be smaller than my first trip but not as big as my Japaniku 2.0. Jeez, I'm rambling. I said I was gonna do this fast, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm going back to Japan and I can't wait to be there to film things and share it with you. And I want to plan this trip with you guys. I'm hoping we can figure this trip out together, the ins and outs, your recommendations, where to stay, what's budget friendly, and I'm gonna be working my butt off to build up a budget for this trip because I'm starting from scratch absolutely from scratch which is a little crazy but also kind of exciting it's like you know it's gonna be an adventure like i don't know what's going to happen from i have from now till the end of the year beginning of next year to put to work as much as i can to put money aside to go to japan and by the time this video comes out my website will have to be relaunched my patreon should be relaunched hopefully i have an etsy store where i'm selling some stuff i think I'm thinking Society6 for some other stuff or Teesprings. I haven't decided yet as I'm filming this, but by the time the video is out, everything will be figured out and we'll discuss all of it in my upcoming video. But for now, I really wanted for you guys to know and I'm gonna put all the links in the description and I want to interact with you in the comments and on social media. So for the next video, I'll be like more prepared of things that we can discuss with one another. So, hey, Japaniku 1.5. That's what I'm going to be calling it, I think. Uh, Tokyo edition, that's what I think the budget is going to allow me to do. Maybe opportunities will, show, will arise. Some kind of magic thing is going to happen. I don't know yet, but all I know is that I'm super excited and I want to bring you guys with me and I hope you're excited too. I mean, it's exciting for me, that's for sure, but I hope I can get you excited for it too. Yeah, I need to go settle down before the sugar makes me crush hard. Good thing it's Friday and it's almost the weekend. Okay. Yeah. L word, you all. Hope you're as excited as I am. Bye.